Hey, hello everyone, Bruno, Bruno here. And today we are going to talk about CPUs and GPUs and how big is the difference between both of them. And I'm not going to do a deep dive of the full scenario. The whole idea is that a couple of days ago, we host a session online where I show how we can basically create a video analyzer. And the video analyzer, we pick up a video like this one, is going to extract the frames from the video and it's going to run using a large language model uh, it's going to analyze those frames and it's going to try to create the full narrative of the video. And it was nice. And part of the sample is using the GitHub models, OpenAI services, Azure OpenAI, and also locals model using Olama. So I'm using a, I'm, I was using a Lava model to analyze the images. When I was doing my demo, I have Olama configured to use the CPU and hey, it took some time. So I explained that, hey, if you have your GPU and you have your NVIDIA and the CUDA drivers and more, or everything is there, you are going to have a better experience. You're going to have an amazing experience. And hey, it's easy, but it takes some time and you need to update the driver from time to time. But a couple of people after that asked me, how big is the difference when we use CPU versus GPU? So let me show you a very simple example of how we can do this. So in order to do this, what I have somewhere here is my project where basically I'm going to, to load images that I have in a folder. These are the images that we have here, very small images. The resolution is 640 for 80. So there are, there are the images, there are 10 images, and I am going to iterate through the images using Microsoft extensions for AI and Nolama locally, and I'm going to analyze the image. The prompt that I use is, the image represents a frame of a video, describe the image in a single sentence. So it's a very simple one. And I'm going to get the elapsed time using a stopwatch, and I'm going to show this in a table. So very simple here. I don't have any container running Olama right now, but I can go to the official announcement from time ago and copy the command to run the CPU only. So let's go here. This is my test. Let's clean this. So let's run this using GPU. Remember, this is the, I'm sorry, CPU. This is the CPU test. So once I have this, I have the Olama container running now here. If I go to the terminal of the container and I do an Olama list, I will see that I already have installed some models. And in order to make this a little more fair, and this is not a super deep analysis, I am going to start one of the models. So I'm going to do run, and in this scenario, I am using the Lava 7D. So I'm going to do a run here. So we have the model already loaded in memory. Where with this is loading, there it is. It's loaded. So when the model is loaded, what I am going to do, I am going to run my project. This is the console. And if we go back to Docker and we open the console here, we are going to see that it's starting to run. In the back, we are going to see how this is working. And if I go back to my task manager, my CPU is going to start to work hard in this moment. So with all of this, what I am going to do, I am going to leave the, not this one, leave this one running. You are going to see the, this is the CPU, not the GPU. This is the CPU process. Don't care about the, the, the top one. And I am going to remove myself because it's going to take 30 seconds or more per image. And we are done. Let's take a look at the numbers here. And remember, this is CPU, no GPU. And hey, the average here is 28 seconds, which is kind of nice. And we have the, the biggest one is probably this one here, the longest one, 36 seconds. The fastest one is probably this 24, maybe 24, two. So you have a sense of what we have here. And so we have an average time of uh, 20, eight seconds. I'm going to copy here to have it for reference. So let's switch gears and let's make this work with the GPU. In order to do this, not changes in the code, but what we are going to do, we are going to go to Docker, go to the container, stop the container, delete the container, and start the container again, that this time using the commands to install the GPU. And remember, this is kind of a, you need to have and configure the install the, 
You need to install first the NVIDIA container kits and a couple of other things, but it's easy. Just follow the step there. So when we have this, let's install this in GPU mode. There it is, going back to Docker. There it is, it's up and running. I'm going to open the terminal one more time, and I am going to do what I did before because I still have my model installed, and what I want to do is run uh, Lava 7B so it's already in memory. And now we are going to run the same process. We are going to run again the, the, the process, but this time no changes in the code because still use the same port. We are going to have the GPU version. And I have here, you guys are going to see that the GPU should be the one working right now. So let's run this. This is the, the table. As you see, it's faster, very fast. It's going to take one second. And if I go to the GPU, this is the one working right now. I am not going to go into the details of all of the all of my hardware, but just let's take a look at this. This is kind of okay. We have an average of 1.4 seconds. And yes, the slowest one is the first one, still loading the memory. They still load in the model probably and the other one is 1.2 1 1 1.4 and more so hey it's fast it's run and it gets a real real uh, result here so if you want to take a look and again this is not a full uh, a full sample of how you can do that but i want basically to show how we can get inside how fast someone asked how fast is the gpu versus the cpu and we can see here that is the difference is big and hey, if I run this to get an extra sense, I have here some, I run two processes. If I go back here to Copilot, let me show you my screen again. Let's change the layout. I have Copilot here and I say, hey, I run two processes. One took this time. Let's see what is the answer here from Copilot. GitHub Copilot is going to say, hey, there is a big time difference here, and it's going to have, no, no, don't give me this. Basically, give me a, 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 a way to calculate this. Log Copilot, I can even get some insights here of how we can do this with the time spans and more, and even run it to see how big is the difference between all of them. So I hope you like it. This is the main question. By the way, this is the repo here. Uh, not this one. This one is the repo here, uh, Net AI Video Analyzer. So if you want to take a look, play around, everything is there. Uh, and hey, remember, I will really appreciate if you subscribe to the channel, give some likes and comments and more. And have a great weekend, everyone. See you next one. Goodbye.